lateness, absenteeism, and the entire conduct of parliamentarians were the main discussion points at a meeting on the importance of the soon to be established Assurances Committee for Parliament. For Parliament, Minority Chief Whip Al Haji Mohammed Motanka harsh sanction must be handed down to members of parliament who are absent from sittings. Al-Haji Mutaka is proposing that 10% of the MPs' allowances be deducted. Parliament Assurances Committee is duty-bound to keep track of the work of committees and ensure that they adhere to timelines among other duties. The views of the stakeholders were necessary to determine or not to set up this committee. Already the members of this working committee have met with the leadership of the National Commission for Civic Education, CDD, IDEG, and the Ghana Integrity Initiative. In today's meeting, leadership of the Ghana Bar Association, the Ghana Journalist Association, and the Parliamentary Press Corps addressed members of the working committee. More often than not, statements with various topics are read by individual MPs on the floor of the House, and sometimes at the end of comments made by other MPs, the Speaker give give directive that certain actions should take place. But after the directive from the speaker, nothing is heard of it again. I would like to suggest that the proposed committee should periodically update the House on the outcome of the statement and directives from the speaker. Discussions were on the perceptions of the public regarding the conduct of parliamentarians, how the legislature can make their work public, and how the public can contribute to the work of the parliamentarians. Parliamentarians pay a lot of funeral bills, school fees, and it shouldn't be so, because then how do they concentrate on the legislative business, which involves um, research? Don't tell you the amount of research capacity we have. You see, so uh, we owe it to ourselves to make them comfortable, to make laws, which we are going to our benefit. We want our idea to play active roles in all phases of processes before a law is passed. We will suggest that civil society, the media, should be forthcoming, they should allow the conservative criticisms to flow constructive and not and destructive criticism. What we can't do without our parliament, we can't do without parliament. The participants agreed that the members of parliament need to crack the whip on themselves to correct their negative public perception. Any other person who has been here after four years, I'm telling you, is worried about the general public perception about us. Because people are doing uh, ethical things, people are doing all manner of things. And they don't care, all they care about is, let me secure my, my seat. And there are some are not even learning anything. I mean, uh, on both sides, there are members who've been here for more than four years. And unfortunately, they've not learned anything. And they are still here as members of parliament, and there are people continue to elect them. So, it's a big worry, it's a big concern. What steps can we really take to, to turn this in a short period of time? That's what we're talking about. It is possible that bills have been referred to committees and they have stayed in the committee for more than three months. So who is watching? We need somebody to monitor to say that today the speaker referred the bill to local government committee. So counting from today, three months says when? So latest that day, we expect a report from the committee. What we say to ourselves must be respected. What we agree to do must be done. And this committee will be the one that holds the whip. After this meeting, members will be expected to present a report to the leadership of the House before a decision is taken on it.